Hey, good day to everybody. <sighs> Man, I'm just... Oh, welcome to another episode of Reeking Van Driller. I'm here at a state park not too far from where I'm living. Just taking a little stroll. Getting a breath of fresh air, enjoying this nice weather. I'm glad it's finally March. Which brings us that much closer to spring weather and just overall better weather for traveling, especially for us van drillers. I mean, I would like to this coming summer go somewhere and camp out for a little bit, you know, maybe buy a tent, pitch it up that type of shit pick a place that's a little woodsy pitch a tent thing that would be neat shit you can take a look around where I'm walking right now park is probably about I don't know 40 some odd minutes away from where I currently stay I just couldn't stay in the house any longer I had to get out and walk off some of these calories that I've been taking in I'm feeling much better I'm not sick like I was so I'm back to normal for the most part now I have to build my strength up and all that kind of shit. And either tomorrow or the next day I'm going to get back to the gym and start working out. I haven't worked out in over a week because I've been under the weather. So, time for me to quit being lazy and get to the gym. And take a look at this beauty out here. I know there's no leaves on none of these trees yet. It's only March. Hey, you can at least see the green grass. At least it ain't raining or snowing. Yeah, I think I'll go this way and see where it takes me. have anything really to talk about on this video well actually I can talk about something real quick tell you a quick story about myself here you know what I'm doing right now is heaven to me you know, just getting out here and getting out here to the park. Being one with nature, to me, that's heaven. Now, I know there's people out here who are religious, and I don't want none of you to be offended. 
because what I'm saying is not intended to attack anybody who's religious. Me personally, however, I was raised religious. I was bath baptized, confirmed. I was a Christ. I was a Lutheran. And I was Lutheran all the way until 2005. In 2005, I was in my mid-twenties. I enrolled in college part-time. And I took a philosophy course. It was part of the curriculum for the degree that I was working towards at the time. So I took this course and I ended up liking this course a whole lot. I learned a lot, I got a lot out of it, learned a lot. The instructor did a pretty good job teaching it. And I tell you on the second day of the course, I began to question heavily Christianity along with all the other religions that were out there. And to make a long story short, I basically, after a second day of my philosophy class, I basically chose to drop out of being religious and become a what some people may call me a non-believer, others might call me atheist, but that's basically the path that I, cho that I chose to take back in 2005. And from 2005 to date, that's where I'm still at. I do not go to church. I do not believe in any one God with that being said however I do respect all religions I do respect the people who worship them or believe in them I just personally personally choose to not be religious I mean to me God is within each one of us God to me means creator. It means to create. The ability to create is within each one of us. God is not only in mankind, it's also in other species in the animal kingdom. It's not only in the animal kingdom, but to me, it's also in other aspects of nature. It's in the universe. You see this right here? is the universe to me this right here is God the universe because through the through the universe through the cycles of the universe is how each and every one of us is created I mean all the way from the atoms of the water to the dirt we walk on, the air we breathe in, to the sun that comes down upon us, giving us that natural energy and vitamin D that we all need for not only strong bones, but also to keep our minds right. Now I can go more in depth with that, but I don't want to get off the topic here. So anyhow. I believe that God is the universe. God is every one of us because every one of us are part of the universe. All your animals, all your insects, all your plants, that's all part of the universe. The air that these trees give off, the carbon monoxide that we give off, 
and the trees take in and the oxygen the trees give off and retake in that's all part of the running of the universe because every function of this universe plays its role in either sustaining life or creating new life the fruit and the vegetables that we eat I call that a God because the fruit and vegetables we eat replenish nutrients that we need to survive and stay well so to me God is me, God is you, God is this wonderful land that we all live on. God is all the animals in the animal kingdom, all the insects. I mean, I do not believe in just one God. That's why I do not believe in no religion. And ever since I quit being religious, I found myself to be a much happier individual. I found myself to be more free. I mean mentally, I became a lot more free. Physically I became more free because I was able to interact with more people. Because I didn't have to worry about whether they were saved or not saved and all that kind of bullshit. So, ever since 2005, I mean, on that day in 2005, on my third, yeah, on my third day of my, second or third day of my philosophy course, I, <laughs> there, there was this new energy that hit me. There's this new breath of life that I, for the first time in my life, got to experience I can't describe I can't describe it to you people it's hard to describe this is something that you yourself have to go through I'm gonna turn around here there's people walking but once I experience that breath of fresh air that freedom if you will I was so freaking happy man can't even describe how happy I was I mean, when it came to dating, I didn't have to worry about whether she was Christian or not Christian, and didn't have to worry about all that. No longer. I mean, me personally, some of the most genuine people out here are non-believers. Some of the most miserable people out here, in my opinion, are religious rather be Christian or Islamic some of the most miserable people especially your Christians I mean your Christians especially in my opinion are some of the most miserable misled individuals because to me when I mean, you have to resort to religion to guide you how to live your life and basically who to be it robs you of your organic self it robs you of it robs you of a piece of your freedom if you will I mean to me when you're religious and you have to answer to a specific God you're not 100% free. Me, I feel 100% free. I don't answer to no God, I answer to myself. I do what's right because it's from my heart, not because I'm gonna, I fear heaven or hell.
personally take a lot of satisfaction in realizing that at the end of the day, I run my own life. Not nobody else, not no religion, not no one God. I run my own life. And every time I come out here in the parks and I'm one with nature, it just reminds me of the blank slate that we all have in front of us that we can take and do what we wish to do with it. <coughs> we can make it as beautiful as we want it or we can turn it into something very ugly, which unfortunately many of us have done. So to me, this is just a reminder of purity untouched untapped organic life if I could have something like this in my backyard and come outside every time I get off of work or whatever and walk it that it would be a wonderful thing but I don't so I have I gotta set up for parks but it's all good though well, this video is getting ready to end very shortly. I mean, yeah, this video is getting ready to end very shortly. So before I get cut off here, I'm going to go ahead and cut the record button off. So everybody have a wonderful, blessed day. And like and subscribe below. And I will see everybody on the next video.